welcome back to Kitty Place Inherit the Earth Quest for the Orb. And here we are in the dungeon of the dog's castle. Princess just thrown us into there. And we dug out one of the blocks of the wall. And now we're going to check out what is inside that tunnel. So let's head straight in. I mean, we are a fox. Foxes are used to go into tunnels. So walk two doesn't work. Let's try using it. The tunnel is too small for me, and probably too small for... It appears that I am the only one who will fit through this opening. Very well. However, I do not like sending you out of here by yourself. I'll be back as quickly as I can to free you. In the meantime, please try not to kill each other. <laughs> there we I go. I suppose there's nothing to do now except wait. Freedom at last. Now look, it's just a tunnel. Let's go outside. Uh oh. Whoops. Okay, now let's see. Oh, Prince is here. Hmm, using right mouse button doesn't work. I can't talk to him. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to meet that creature. Certainly not. Does it, it looks like a Komodo dragon. I don't want to get eaten by a dragon. Someplace that's that's not good. And we are slightly faster than the creature, and I now remember that I don't need to click all the time. So we can actually outrun the lizard thing. Let's try heading that way. I have no idea where I am. I want more spiky things. There was something gray on the platform. It's over, so I'm going to check that out. I don't know how big this labyrinth is. Okay, so this was just a... Just a bridge. Ah, it, it was bones. The, the bones was what I saw. Okay. You're still hoping that the lizard creature can't go on this small area. Okay. 
hope we don't end up like that pile of bones here. I don't want Rift to die. Oh, this is this is the wall, okay. Might be the exit somewhere around here. Hope we don't have to actually find like a switch or something and then come back to the exit or something like that. Hope this is only reached the end of the Oh, it looks like it's only reached the end of the... Ah, yes. Very nice. So, I hope this was good entertainment for you, Prince. Okay, I don't want to be seen by the dogs. I don't want to be captured again. And there we are. Let me just adjust the light. I think I'm a bit... I was a bit dark in this screen, right? Oh, you should be able to see me better. Okay, let's see where we can go. So yeah, I promised to rescue the other two. And... Oh, storm. There is a storm here brewing. Heavens, that storm certainly appeared quickly. It looks like a bad one, too. If the orb of storms were in the hands of its rightful owners, we could have predicted this. That's right. I, I hope I can just... Yeah, the, so this was just a cutscene. Okay, lucky us. So let's take a look let's at the map. Let's see where we are. Okay, so this... Okay, so the, the distances aren't that far. Mm, I guess everything on this map, every of these pieces... Hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't sleep well last night. Mm, or some place we can visit, so let's visit this, try to visit this tree, which is north of here, and I guess it's this thing, a forest clearing. There seems to be nothing here. Let's see where we are. Okay, then we go, if we can, cross that river and go to the west. Oh, well, yeah. Can't cross that river, but down there was a bridge. Look, another forest. Let's see where we are. Well, we already saw that house. That's where I'm going to next. There we go. Let's check out the cottage. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in there? Hello? Go away! Her hospitality is underwhelming. Excuse me, but I am in need of assistance. I said, go away. But this is an emergency. A life hangs in the... B What's the matter? How'd you dare? I said, go away. Amazing. She wouldn't even listen to my plight. Crazy old cat. Uh, wait a second. Old cat? So this could be... Could I this... think I see someone moving around in there. This could be... Ilara's sister, the girl that we should send the letter to. Let's try to give the letter to the door. Use it with the door. I know. I'll slip the letter under the door. She'll read it and let me in. She is, after all, a cat. <laughs> and her curiosity will surely get the better of her. If she is a then cat. again, maybe not. Okay, so that doesn't work. Hmm. Let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, block the bottom of the door. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have missed an opening. So that's basically the second rule of, of, of adventures, usually, is um, 
you try things again and again until the result is the same. So use the same speech option until they just repeat themselves, something like that. There's nothing to use it for. Yeah, but stand on it, right? Uh, pick up. Oh, ah. All right, if that's the way you want to play. Go ahead, try to throw the letter out now. <laughs> A letter from Inara. Why, it's been forever since I heard from her. I suppose she's still involved with that sanctuary thing. She always did like that hoodoo. Yes, in fact, she... But what about you? Surely you didn't come all the way up here just to bring me this letter, did you? No, ma'am. I'm on a quest to... Where are my manners? Would you like something to eat? Poor thing, you must be half-starved. <laughs> you come in and tell me all about yourself while I fix us a little snack. Very well. And sit up straight. <laughs> Young people need to watch their posture, or by the time you're my age, you'll be round-shouldered. You don't want that, do you? No, ma'am, I... Well, all right, then. Go ahead, tell me all about yourself. Too, so what are you straight. doing here? I'm on a quest to recover the Orb of Storms, which was stolen from its sanctuary at the temple. I saw the smoke coming from the chimney and decided to stop. Well, it's a good thing you did. Or you'd be wandering around lost, for sure. Land Six, you've had quite an adventure, haven't you? Yes. And I fear it is far from over. Yeah, we had quite an adventure. We were going back and forth and forth and back and were, uh, were caught by the weird dogs. I mean, they're dogs, right? But apart from that, I mean, there wasn't that much to the Wildlands, was there? Well? Oh, can you tell me something about that that thing? No. I wonder what's in there. A llama wouldn't like that. I wonder if that's the eating bowl, the washing bowl, or the mixing of potions bowl. I think it's all of that. There's nothing like a nice, comfortable fire. That's right. There's nothing but then curling up in front of it. I wonder what's in there. Well? Taking the room. I chose pick up room and he walks through the door. Yeah. Well, I wonder if a llama rides this. <laughs> As far as I know, she asked me for my adventures, and I want to tell her, and she just says, well, I, I must have missed something that she says. Oh, we can always come back later. Let's just check out what else there is. So we know the cottage on the map is the cottage of Alara's sister. Let's see where we are. Let's check out these three places. The forest clearing with nothing whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Sitting straight. That's what she said. And she's actually right about that. You should sit sit straight. And it's Let's see where we are. It's not that easy to keep that in mind nowadays. Oh, there's someone. 
Tom found these shoes shoddy material. Tis a blight on our society. What? What do you want? Who are you? My name is Riff of the Fox Club. I was coming for this by name. Why gets more than the destroyed and now is my day. I would be most interested in seeing what you have. So then, what will be your pleasure? I would like to purchase the scarf. A wise choice. That will be a mere twenty credits. Twenty credits? I can't afford that. I would like to purchase the needle and thread. A wise choice. That will be a mere ten credits. Ten credits? I'm afraid I do not have that much on me. Then perhaps you have something you could barter for. All I have on my person are. The only thing I am interested in is that gold ring. I'd say that was worth ten credits. Hmm. Not yet. I mean, I don't know if I need to actually barter the ring, but it might help me ask for something or something like that. So. I must decline your offer. I must hold on to the. A pity we could not strike a. Farewell, friend Kai. Safe journey. Let's see where we are. So remember, the um, tree by this weird symbol is the trader. This is a village. At last, perhaps I can find food and shelter here. Halt! Stand where you are. That should be easy enough. Where else can I stand except where I am? I'm not impressed by your clever answers. I hereby declare you my prisoner. It's about time. What? Come, come. I am your prisoner. Lock me up. Confine me to quarters. It's getting late. Well, what are you waiting for? My prison cell awaits. By the way, what's for dinner? <laughs> Hulk, stand where you are. There's that phrase again. Prepare to meet the chiefest. Bow before. I am honored to stand before you. Identify yourself. I am, I am with the Fox Tribe at your service. I have seen neither you nor your kinsmen in these parts before. My village is far to the south. And what brings you here? I am on a quest to return an item that was stolen from my people. We believe that it was stolen by a raccoon that lives to the north of here. And what sort of item was stolen? A wondrous globe known as the Orb of Storms. It predicts the weather and the seasons. Such an item would be valuable indeed. Very well. You may pass through our village unharmed. Peace be with you. My attendant will see to your comfort. Now, if you will excuse me, I am needed elsewhere. See that? I will show you where you can sleep tonight. Your chiefess has a sadness about her. She is extremely concerned about the health of her daughter Murp. What's wrong with her? Murp was on a hunting expedition in the mountains when a sudden thunderstorm caused her to lose her footing and fall. Oh no! Was she badly hurt? Her wounds were not bad. But it took the hunting party three days to return to the village. By then, her wounds had become infected. Oh no! What is her condition now? She is quite weak and delirious, and not expected to last much longer. Poor Prawa, Murk is her beloved, and her hope for our tribe. I think I'm going to try to help Prawa cure Murk. Please accept my gratitude for your gracious hospitality. Yeah, really. I mean, there's the dogs, there's the cats. One locked us up. The others gave us shelter and food. 
and basically both for no apparent reason. I mean, yes, we said we didn't want to pay the price with the dogs who were basically just ripping us off like highwaymen. You know, I, d I don't know if there is an English term for for um, the like knights that are also highwaymen, like knights that are broke and then, um, then then lurk on the streets and rob the uh, rob the merchants and the people going there. And this is what the dogs actually felt like. And these cats, it actually it actually looked like they they would imprison me and try to cook me or something and the exact opposite happened I mean they helped me so I think I should help them too also they're cats another reason to help well traveler did you have a good night very comfortable indeed I would like to repay you if possible I understand your daughter is quite ill then you understand correctly. We had hoped to see an improvement in her condition, but those hopes are fading by the day. May I examine her wound? Are you a healer? No, but in my travels I encounter many different people. If any of them can provide assistance, I shall do everything in my power to aid you in your plight. If you can help in any way, you shall have my undying gratitude. Follow me. Okay, we're going to witness the severe wounds of Mur. No, no! Look out! The rocks are falling! Falling! Help me! Help me! She has been like this for several days. Her fevered mind keeps reliving the accident. I fear she will not be able to hold on much longer. Then I had best make haste. I promise to do everything I can to find a solution. Do not lose hope. On the contrary, you have restored my hope. Good luck, Rith. That is so sad. Oh look, there is already the urn that they're going to place her in. Just your basic urn. Just your basic hanging sack. Everything seems to be basic here. These cats are superb hunters, I bet. Nice beads, huh? Not what you think, Riff. Also, did you notice that the um, that the tents are they're even called claw tent? That the tents look like claws. It's a nice touch. I am suspecting that. Um, Ilara's sister might know of a cure, so let's try and ask her. Well? Now I must try to locate a doctor for Prowa's daughter. I feel she will not last much longer. I know of no doctors in this area. However, there are some folk remedies that we have used for many years. And they work? Child, these remedies have been around a lot longer than those newfangled medicines. <laughs> they work just fine. What about the pain? We will put cat dip leaves into the salve to help ease the pain. Also make a tea from the leaves. It will act as a sedative for her. What can I use to heal the wound? Is the wound open? Yes, it is. Then you must also get a needle and thread to sew up the wound. Sew up the wound? Oh, I don't think... You must be brave. If the wound is not sewn up, none of the other ingredients will be effective. Okay, so now we have a reason to give up that ring. I mean, we want to save that daughter. Uh, before that, I just... I didn't know if I needed to buy something else. I didn't just want to get the needle and thread. Although I know that you can't get into a non-winnable situation in that game. I didn't want to go back and, and find a way to barter it back and all that stuff. 
Where can I find these materials? Honey bees make their combs mostly in hollow trees. Catnip grows best in moist soil, so look around lakes and streams. Just look around you. And the needle and thread? That may prove to be more difficult. Alas, I have none myself, or I would gladly donate them. Perhaps another village or a traveling merchant could be of help? And these ingredients, all I need to make the cure? Land sakes, no, child. Mm -hmm. Those are just the ingredients I don't already have. Find those ingredients, bring them back to me, and you shall have your salve. So I'm, I'm going to do ask about the uh, remedy, even though I already know that it's uh, that I need honey, catnip, and um, the needle and thread. It seems like the game assumes that you go through the options from top to bottom. Can you tell me what these remedies are? Of course, I can make one up for you. First, we'll need some honey. Honey? I mean to cure her, not sweet. The honey will act as an astringent to draw out the fever. I'll give you a bowl to gather it in. This will help her delirium? Once the fever is broken, the delirium will subside. Then I'd best be on my way. I have a life to save, friends to free from prison, and an orb to recover. All in all, a rather full schedule. Then be off with you. When you return, I'll make up the salve and send you on your way. For this, you will earn not only my gratitude, but that of the Wildcat tribe as well. I will return as soon as possible. By the way, the Wildcats did look very, very cute. Oh, come on. Walk to Wilderness. Okay, back to the merchant. Let's see where we are. I know, it was that tree. Okay. Go. Let's see where we... But it was that tree, wasn't it? Ah, it could be that um, that it's randomized where the merchant actually is. That would be a shame. And then let's check out the other three trees. Or forest clearings, that is. see where we oh, I'm outside of the map so I need to go around here because I don't think I can get there there's another clearing here a little screw oh there's there is a tree hooray bees and unless I miss my guess those are definitely Honey. That means there must be honey in that tree. Uh, in the beehive. Ah, uh, oh, that's good, because the bees won't give me their honey willingly, so there are the dry twigs. Could make a fire. I can't figure out how to use it. Spark to light. Hmm. Okay, I've got nothing to make a spark here, and the disc is already blinking. And since the bees are so loud that I can't hear my own voice, which is very irritating while speaking, I'm going to do this and then bid you farewell. But before I do so, I will announce that um, I noticed that rolling a d20 
results in rather high numbers. So from this episode on, this is the first episode on the second recording day. So from this episode on, I will roll a d12. So it's like with um, Lens of Lore, it's uh, between 1 and 12 days, but all the numbers are equally distributed. Uh, as I said, I don't want to roll 2d6 in all my let's plays, I want to vary it a little bit. So, um, but I have to find a sensible way of determining um, when the next episode will come. So, yeah, there we are. This is it. This is the end of this episode. The next thing will be rolling the rolling of the dice, and then you will know when the next episode will come. Bye-bye.